Good evening. Lawmakers at a Legco House Committee meeting have voted against tabling a motion calling on Chief Executive Donald Zung to resign. The motion was proposed by Democratic Party members who also demanded Zung repay public money he spent on luxury hotel stays overseas. Two special reports by the Audit Commission and an independent panel confirmed that Zhang had overspent on official trips and placed himself above the law by exempting himself from the rest of the civil service when he accepted advantages. Pro-establishment members who voted against having the motion today argued that Zhang will answer lawmakers' questions at a special meeting next week and it's not necessary to punish him at this stage. Pro-democracy groups and Beijing loyalists alike are putting more pressure on the Chinese government to investigate the mysterious death of mainland dissident Li Wangyang. Local deputies to China's parliament have written letters calling for answers while the Democrats are holding more protests. ATV's Raymond Young reports. Members of the Democratic Party marched from Western Police Station to Beijing's liaison office to demand an investigation into the death of dissident Li Wangyang. The group paid tribute to the late activist and unionist from Hunan by laying a flower wreath as well as observing one minute's silence. Democratic Party Vice Chairman Xin Cheng Kai refused to accept mainland police claims that Li had committed suicide. He urged people to take part in a bigger protest rally this Sunday. The Democrats are not the only ones concerned about the mysterious circumstances surrounding Li's death. Pro-government legislators, local delegates to China's parliament and other well-known figures are also calling for action from Beijing. Executive Councillor Anthony Cheng, who's tipped to become the next housing minister, said he realizes people are concerned about Li's death and he hopes mainland authorities can look into it to explain what happened. Liberal Party Chairwoman and National People's Congress Delegate Miriam Lau said the incident was unfortunate and she will write to the NPC urging a thorough investigation with the results to be made public. This follows earlier remarks by Michael Tian, another NPC delegate, that he would also write to China's parliament seeking an explanation. But unionist legislator Li Chek Yan is not satisfied. I heard that there's some NPC member that had written to uh, uh, the Chinese government for uh, investigation of the case. Of course, uh, we, we believe that uh, uh, writing a letter, of course, is good. But I think if uh, there are no possible answer, uh, they should resign. Uh, in protest if they are really caring about that case. Li Wang Yang jailed for 21 years for his involvement in the 1989 Tiananmen Square protests was found hanged in his hospital room in Hunan province on Wednesday. His family and friends rejected police claims that the activist had committed suicide, citing his strong character. Raymond Young, ATV News. The competition bill aimed at ensuring a level playing field in business is making slow progress in LegCo. The third day of debate on the bill was repeatedly interrupted by quorum counts. ATV's Joanne Wong reports.